Today we'll model a tree. Start your tree by creating cylinder, reducing subdivision axis to 12 and moving pivot point to the bottom. Scale cylinder a bit to create tree trunk. Next we'll create curve that will represent tree height and shape. In the curve editor setting set curve degree to cubic to get smooth curve. Draw curve from cylinder up by clicking in the viewport. Longer the curve, higher the tree will be. Switch to the face mode, select all faces first and curve second. Next click extrude and set the vision number to the amount that makes cylinder mesh follow curve shape as close as possible. In the channel box, change taper options to zero to shape tree appearance. Since the curve is connected to the mesh, you can adjust your tree trunk appearance by selecting curve and switching to vertex mode and moving vertexes to your liking. To break connection between curve and extruded mesh, you need to select both and delete history. Now you can delete the curve. Next, prepare space for branch by selecting four faces or more, setting transformation constraint to surfaces, and apply circularized component to create circular shape. Adjust circular shape as needed, and turn off constraints to surface. Next, switch to desired view and draw new curve that will represent tree branch. Switch to face component, select four faces, a new curve. Click extrude and set division number to the amount that makes cylinder mesh follow curve shape as close as possible. Again, in channel box, change taper to zero. Reshape branch as needed. Repeat process to create additional branches and roots. Place new branches in random location all over the tree. And as always, use references. Please remember to save your file from time to time. After you finish adding branches, select Mesh and all the curves and then delete history. Next, select Curves Only and delete them. You can remove the mesh from the bottom of the tree since it will not be visible to the viewer. Move tree to desired position, adjust tree mesh and delete unnecessary parts of the mesh as needed. Thank you.